Barb. Uh, what's the three th quick things? What specific capa military capabilities do these U.S. troops bring to Europe? These 8,500. Second, could you say with some specificity what is the exact mission for these troops, and what will your measure of success be? How will you know when the mission is accomplished? Yeah. So. On capabilities, Barb, I, I touched this in the opening statement. Uh, again, when we are able to identify the units for you, we'll do that. The reason why I don't have specific units today is because uh, uh, the units are being notified as well as family members, and, and I think you can understand we wouldn't want to get out ahead of that notification process. But broadly speaking, uh, as I mentioned at the top, I mean, uh, these would be additional brigade combat teams, logistics personnel, medical support, aviation support, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, as well as transportation, uh, and, and maybe even some additional capabilities after that. Um, again, when we can identify for you the units, I think you'll see that they kind of cover the broad scope of those capabilities. Missions haven't been assigned. I mean, the, the Ready Response Force hasn't been, uh, hasn't been activated, uh, and so, uh, there's not a mission per se. This is about the secretary wanting to get ahead of the potential activation and making sure that these units have the time to prepare if and only if they're uh, they're deployed. Um, and then uh, uh, you had uh, when, when, when will you know success? Again, um, there hasn't, there's been no activation, so there's been no mission assigned. So it's very difficult for me to give you a, uh, uh, an up check or a down check on, uh, you, you know, on what equate success. What this is about, though, uh, is reassurance to our NATO allies. And we've been talking about that for quite some time, uh, that uh, we're going to be ready, we're going to be prepared uh, to help bolster our allies with capabilities they might, they might need. Uh, and we're going to do this in lockstep with them and with the alliance. Um, th this, th this is really about uh, reassuring uh, the eastern flank of NATO, and it's also about, and I kind of covered this too, Barb, back to your question of success, it's, it's proving how seriously the United States takes our commitment to NATO and to the Article 5 commitment inside NATO. How will you know, will you know when your military goals are achieved? Again, Barb, th there's been no mission assigned right now. This is about getting troops ready. And back to what we're trying to achieve is a couple of things. Obviously, we still would like to uh, deter Vladimir Putin and the Russians from another incursion, number one. Number two, it's to make sure that we're bolstering and, and, uh, and staying unified with the alliance, that the alliance stays strong. And so the, the large uh, bulk of the reason for this, uh, pr these prepare to deploy orders is really to make sure uh, that we're ready uh, to bolster the NATO alliance and to, and to prove the solidarity uh, of the alliance. Those are the two sort of big outcomes here. Uh, but again, no mission has been assigned to these troops. Uh, no deployment orders have been sent to them. Uh, what the secretary has ordered them to do is to be ready to go, in some cases, on a much shorter tether than what they had before. Jen. Mm -hmm.